Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. This is Phoenix 198720. And please like my dad channel. And subscribe. And hit that subscribe button and, and hit that bell. Today's video is going to be done on my um, Let's Talk About It. And today's topic we're going to be talking about it is the partnership between Nintendo and Microsoft. And a lot of people don't notice or have not paid attention that Nintendo and Microsoft has had a very silent partnership running in the background. It actually started in the mid 2000s when Microsoft did not want to enter the handheld uh, realm and wanted to stick with console games only. So they started putting out their games um, their games onto the Nintendo DS from there they have built the long ways that uh, we've got Minecraft on the Wii U and the Nintendo Switch we got characters that are from the uh, Microsoft Error right now on Super Smash Brothers um, a lot of people don't know is Microsoft and Nintendo are working behind the scenes with the Nintendo's online and it had it had to do when it um, had to do when Nintendo had to upgrade their servers because their servers were 18 years old. Nintendo and Microsoft are still working together to help Nintendo bring the best of the worlds for online. So behind the scenes, they're still doing stuff, and nobody knows what's happening. But those two companies have had the best love relationship and even in their actual videos you can see that either a the nintendo switch is in a microsoft video or an xbox is in a nintendo video not always able to see that at once but are it's not always obvious but they're always there and with microsoft doing as much as they can to still become competitors with Sony. The smartest move was for them was to join up with Nintendo and for them both to work back and forth with each other as possible as much as possible so they can have a great relationship. Not saying that all three companies don't have a great relationship with each other, but those two companies have an actual well good relationship. A lot of their deals and stuff like that is actually behind closed doors because they love to keep things hush hush. I know the other day Nintendo and Microsoft sat down for a long meeting and a lot of the documents got leaked online but every time it came to a Nintendo answer that part of the documents were actually blocked out so they don't we don't know what exactly was what was Nintendo's answer for a lot of those documents and when Nintendo asked questions Microsoft's answers were blocked out as well, as well. so it makes you wonder how big is this relationship with Microsoft and Nintendo and how bigger can it get could we have eventually first party Nintendo characters make an appearance in um, some Microsoft games or are we going to see some big franchise characters from Microsoft like Master Chef Chief, Master Chief I mean make an appearance in I don't know Super Smash Brothers or another game maybe in Mario Kart 9 we don't know but stay tuned for more because I am digging up as much as I can on this relationship between Microsoft and Nintendo and I'm really hoping that the rumors that are flying around with that, that Nintendo and Microsoft does the Game Pass or that Pass X or the X Pass, whatever it's called. So you can see more and more. And I know there's deals going on because Nintendo is trying to work out something with Microsoft so they can get some of, uh, uh, what was that company name? Bed. Base, whatever developer Microsoft just bought there last year, that big one. Um, could be more Fallout games coming to the Nintendo Switch. 
could be a bunch of different things. Don't know yet. Still digging up. But what would you like to see? Would you like Nintendo and Microsoft to continue this relationship? Do you want them to destroy their relationship? Or do you want to see them go big? Go past, shoot past the stars with their relationship and come out something together from both of them that could potentially be game breaking for the video game console world. But let me know. Leave it down in the comments below. But um, I love to hear what you all have to say. But until further ado, I want you to do me a huge, huge favor. Hit that like button. Share this with all your friends and family. Hit that subscribe button. Punch that notification bell. And drop down a comment below. The good, the bad, the ugly. It's all good to me. I read everything you guys write. Until further ado. This is Phoenix198720 saying I hope you guys have a good morning. A good evening. Good afternoon. Peace. Oh, oh.